The word of God is very clear about what the Father approves. When in doubt about what the Father approves or disapproves, the scriptures should be a go-to manual for reference. Amen. An example is 2 Timothy 2.15. This is Paul writing to Timothy. He says, Study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen. It says, study to show yourself approved unto God. It is all about what the Father approves. Amen. A person who desires to live a godly lifestyle is one who is constantly looking for opportunities to know what the Father approves and to do it. In this case, study. Other translations use the words, be diligent, work hard, do your best. Amen. In spite of the translation used, the outcome is the same. Follow a cause that the Father approves. Amen. And do it. Amen. A lifestyle of sacrifice is also approved by the Father. As you take steps to live godly and increase in godliness, sacrifices will be necessary. There will be a need to distinguish yourself in the midst of people and things. There will be a need to not associate with everyone, to not participate in every activity offered, and to not consume everything available or offered to you. Amen. Romans 12 verse 1, I'll read from the King James Version. It says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. A living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God. So as much as you present sacrifices to the Father, make sure that the sacrifices are holy and make sure that they are acceptable unto Him because it is all about what He approves. Amen. Now, Daniel is a character in the Bible whom Scripture refers to as one with an excellent spirit. Let's take a look at what he did that caused him to be referred to as one with an excellent spirit. Daniel 6 verse 3, I read from the New International Version, it says, Daniel distinguished himself by doing likewise. He distinguished himself among the administrators and the satraps by his exceptional qualities that, that the king planned to set him over the whole kingdom. Amen. Daniel distinguished himself. Amen. Daniel 1.8 says, But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with a portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Amen. So here are a few things. The Bible is telling us that Daniel distinguished himself among the administrators and the satraps. And then we're also told that he purposed in his heart not to defile himself with a portion of the king's meat and the king's wine. No doubt he was referred to as someone with an excellent spirit. Now, here is my question to you. Does the Father approve of the things you do, of the sacrifices you offer, of the lifestyle you have chosen to live, of the words you speak? I would like you to examine your life and make the necessary changes because it is all about what the Father approves. Amen.